If you can't punish your customers with the spice, then it's not real hot chicken. Doing it wrong. <laughs> I'm Chen Chen. And I'm Sarah, and we're co-owners of Chen Chen's Nashville Hot Chicken in Toronto. People don't think that that's his real name. I'm like, no, first name Chen, last name Chen. They're like, wait, what? No way. I was born in China, but I moved to Tennessee when I was two years old. First time I tried Nashville Hot Chicken was in high school. I ended up going to Prince's Hot Chicken, which was the original Nashville Hot Chicken. I ordered the spiciest chicken that was there. The lady at the counter laughed at me, and I ended up ordering four or five sweet teas after that. Definitely stuck with me. It's one of my favorite foods. I went to culinary school at George Brown in Toronto, and I love Toronto, but the one thing that was kind of missing at the time was Nashville Hot Chicken. Uh, I have a poster here of our first ever pop-up. I actually took this picture, and this is the first ever order that I took for Chen Chen's. I couldn't even tell you how many sandwiches we've made since. It's just really insane how this restaurant reaches so many people. It's not when I see them the first time that makes me happy, it's when I see them the second, the third, the fourth time that makes me happy. Some of our customers tell us it's even better than the hot chicken they've had in Nashville, which is a huge compliment. Our highest level of spice still has a lot of flavor, but you're definitely gonna need to have some practice before you reach that level. I absolutely warn people ahead of time, like it's called poultry guys for a reason. I'm about to burn my face off, but I'm gonna enjoy every minute of it. Woo! It's spicy. To anybody that says this is not spicy, you need to go see a doctor. Chilies and peppers have something called capsation in it, and it uh, basically creates dopamine release in the brain if you eat it. It means pain is pleasure. 